and edge fluffy hair lesson. This is going to show you how to get really good um, resolution around something tricky like hair. And for those of you that are in yearbook or newspaper, you're constantly cutting people out and putting them against a different background. And so this is helpful for that, fur for animals, anything like that. Um, copy your OG and then lock and hide the original. And everything we're doing is, is modification to the selection. So you have to make the changes before you duplicate or before you do anything. We cannot cut her out and then make the changes. First we make the selection, then we make the changes. So for this, um, I'm going to, let's see what happens when we try the ob object selection tool. So this is the new tool. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm seeing like how well it works for things. I drag a box around her and it does just as well as I could expect. It's got a nice clean edge around the body, which is not a problem. The problem is the hair. So if I were to cut this out, it would be just this really flat and yucky edge. So what we need to do is refine the selection so that it's called select and mask. It's up here along the top. You choose that. Hmm. Okay, and it opens up this menu over here. So these presets are based on a tutorial I watched. If you kind of follow along with them, then you should be okay. So the view you want should be on onion skin. Okay, and then the transparency, I think 20% is about what we want. Radius, I want it to be at one pixel. And then I don't really change anything about these things on global refinements, but I do check smart radius. Definitely want that. And then on your output settings, when we're done, you do want to decontaminate the colors and you want it to output to a not new layer with new with layer mask, just a new layer. OK, and we are going to start working. So what we should be able to do. Is hover around these areas here. Oh, transparency. Turn the transparency up more. I'm sorry. Like, because it, you want to see white, and then we can see the gray here. So I'm going to zoom in. So currently, this is what I would have seen if I kept this selection and I put her on her new. But we're going to go here to the second tool down and you are going to swipe it along and you're looking for these areas to turn white. I'm going to use the hand tool to kind of pan around the edges. And now here's an area where there were some really nice little wispies that it didn't select. So if I go back here, it will now select those and understand that they're part of what we want to keep. Go over that again. Here's some stuff we don't want to keep. So get rid of that. We don't want that. Okay, we do want the edges of this to be a little prettier. So we kind of add two in that area. Minus takes it out, plus adds it. So here I've got some kind of not as pretty areas. Here I've got some, yes, I want these areas. See how that's adding all the background back? We don't want that. That's pretty good. Okay, so that took me kind of a long time. I hope that's not too boring. But now when we look at it, the edges here look a lot better. Looks like I see one more place I need to fix.
Okay, now when we hit okay, it doesn't look any different, but yes, it does. Because if I fill this background with like a red or something, then you can see like how nice some of those edges are and it looks good. If I hadn't done that and I would have just kept it like this, So I want you to see the difference of what we did. So this is what it would have been like without the refined selection. You would have had these kind of choppy, not real looking edges. Here's what it looks like with the refined selection. Not to say I don't have some things to kind of fix up or play with if it's just really something important, but it's definitely much better. So I just wanted you to know that that tool exists. And if you can show me that you have put that on a good background what we did have done in the past is that put her someplace where you wish you were. And I wish I was in, I've never been to Bali, but I would like to go. And so that's where I'm going to put her and copy image. Control V paste. Attention staff and teachers. The Thanksgiving lunch is now available for you as the security desk in front of the auditorium. Enjoy. Mm. Lucky me. Something like that is what I'm looking for. When you turn it in, take a snip of the whole image and your layer so I can see your work and then turn that in. Thank you so much.